I am getting ready to go to the gym, to the Stairmaster because I'm on a high after Venice Run Club. I woke up, did my three morning pages. Kenzie Elizabeth inspired me. You just basically write in three pages. Although my journal's like big, so I might change it to two because it's taking a little too long. Anyway, I did wake up at seven. Now it's like way later, it's 9.40. I don't like how late it is. Like I should already have my workout done by now, but it's fine, whatever. I'm putting together a little breakfast. I normally don't like to eat too much before I work out because I don't want to feel like full and like I can't. Well, not run hard, but this is a nectarine and some of this Siggy's black cherry yogurt. I like this brand a lot because it has a lot of protein. Anyway, I'm on a high after Venice Run Club and I wanna get way better at running so that I'm not like thinking about passing out while I'm on the run. My goal for the Stairmaster today was for to do it for 30 minutes. Normally, I do it for about like 20, sometimes even 10 or 15, but today I'm gonna try and do 30 because I wanna build up my endurance. The Stairmaster is really good for endurance. You know what? Maybe I should try and go 40 minutes. The goal is 30. If I feel like I can do more than that, we'll see. It's so funny, the whole time while we were at Venice Run Club, my brother and I kept talking about our friend Murph. We were like, more fast to come, more fast to come. I feel like him and Phil and I always bond over working out and shit. And there's so many hot guys there and Murph might find a boyfriend and I might find a boyfriend and Phil might find a girlfriend. My goal is to do like two more three-ish mile runs before the four and a half one on Wednesday. If I could do like a five mile run at some point, I think that would really boost my confidence. I can't believe I did it. What the fuck, you guys? After going to Venice Run Club, I'm fired up. So I signed up for a Pilates class near me and a like sauna session near me. I'm really excited about that. I will say though, my hip is like sore from yesterday. I don't know why. Like am I one of these people now that like goes like this? Ooh. So sweaty. That was awesome. I did 30 minutes on the Stairmaster and then a 10 minute walk to cool down. I would have walked for like 30 minutes, but I have a call. So I'm gonna shower really quickly and then get ready for my call. Actually, I actually have two calls today. today and use the little glue stick thing and I really love it. The only thing that sucks though, you can't revive it after you do this because I've borrowed it from my friends before and my friends have also told me. So tomorrow I'm for sure gonna have to wash my hair or tonight. I'm drinking one of the Kim Aid Lonnie new things. Look at this cute little fruit bowl I made. Like not actual fruit bowl, it's just I went grocery shopping. And then I also have these flowers, like the vibes are good and the juice box today. I'm super pumped because tonight I'm going to see Barbie. I've heard amazing things and also like I mainly want to see it because I feel like I'm like out of the loop and I hate feeling out of the loop. My brother is coming over and we're gonna go see the Barbie movie together because that's his end of the deal. We're going to Venice Run Club which I'm still like obsessing over. Yeah what's the 411? We can't stop talking about Taylor Swift. Like we literally can't. We just did the Spotify. Top most listened to albums. Phil's was Folklore, Lover, Reputation, Speak Now, 1989. What do you have to say for yourself about having Folklore as your number one? Mandy had Folklore as her number one too. But I'm like a self-proclaimed Folklore girl. Like, like, that that makes sense for you. I don't know about Phil. I don't know how to explain that other than- You don't identify as Folklore? I don't identify as Folklore <laughs> Okay. All, but I guess the one just carries that album and I, I've been banging that the last well, you must be listening to it on repeat. Okay, but I need to know, what did they just tell you this morning on Spotify? I just opened my app and it was like, congratulations, you're the top 13% of Taylor Swift listeners. I'm fucking pissed. I didn't get that. I don't even know what that means. That means you're in the top 13% of people in the world who that listen to Taylor Swift. Yesterday, I go, Phil, would you rather go to Eras or Drake? And he goes, honestly, probably Eras. What do you have to say about that? I feel like this Ayers tour is like one of the greatest tours of all time. Of all time. Mm -hmm. And everybody's been talking about it. And even the guys are like, it's a once in a lifetime. What do you mean the guys? Guys like me, sports 
guys are like, it was incredible. If Aaron Rodgers and Mac Jones and NFL guys are loving it, I'm sure I would love it. Miles Teller was bumping to it. My number one was Reputation and then Lover and then Midnight's and then Speak Now TV and then Fearless? No, Red. But like, I'm looking at the set list and I don't know like 12 of these songs. What do you mean you don't know 12 of the songs? Like Betty. Okay, that one like, <laughs> you probably know. The Last Great Dynasty, Mirrorball. Ball. That's all. Folklore and Neverwater. How, how is Folklore and Neverwater? Never Maybe your Spotify thinks you're someone else. Okay, keep going. Which ones do you know? Miss America and the Heartbreak Prince. I feel like I should know this. Yeah, that you was do in a know documentary, it. right? Cool Summer, the man you need to calm down, lower the archer. Fearless. I'll be the archer. You belong with me, love story. Oh, that's a great eight run stretch there. Yeah. Oh, is it by the album? Yeah, it's the eras. Her eras. So I'll have to go to the restroom during Evermore. Evermore. Yeah. If we're going, you need to listen to all of these so you know all of them. Elect Affairs. Elicit. Elicit. <laughs> Elect. It's 1989 style. Yeah. Like yeah. They shake it off. Just style it off. Harry? Yeah. Wow, she could bring out Ed Sheeran's future. future. That would be sick. Guys, we can't stop talking about Taylor Swift. Like, literally, it's the only thing I think about. Who do we think are, like, the biggest, the most hated? So we're talking about, like, whether oh. it's Kanye, Scooter Braun. I thought it was, I thought it was Scooter one, Jake Gyllenhaal. I forgot about Kanye, so Kanye is probably number one. So it probably goes Kanye, Scooter, Jake, Jake Gyllenhaal, Gyllenhaal, John, John Mayer. Mayer. I feel like she doesn't have beef with Harry anymore. No. We want them to date. No, we don't. We want them to collab yes, we do. on a song. Okay, yeah, we do <laughs> want them to collab on a song. I would be happy for them to date if they dated. <sighs> I, just, I want her with an athlete, like a cool American guy. So we've got an American power couple. That is not her type. Phil needs a new phone case. So I'm gonna give him a haul of all the cases that I have. It's literally so gross. This is supposed to be clear, it's brown. First one. It's cool, not too crazy. Next one we have is this Aura one. It's actually kind of cool. Next one is obviously Slay with a little Slay charm. That's out. That would be so funny if you. <laughs> Next one, Chili Peppers. All right. <laughs> it's just kind of funny. Like if I saw a dude with that, I'd be like, who did you date? Cherries with flowers. Out. Out. Okay, this one's the all right. So that's C. With, with C minus. Little pink gemstone. It's out. Dog mom. Claudia Saluski. Don't have a dog. That's kind of funny. Neon King. No. Dolphins. I thought you meant like Miami Dolphins at first. <laughs> it's super it is the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> a guy's like, bro, nice phone case. You're like Miami Dolphins. Yeah. <laughs> this little animals one. Please put this on your face. It's kind of a vibe. Social battery drained, designed by yours truly, ex Alicia Marie. I do like the mirror concept. Disney princesses. Yeah, that's my favorite. It's kind of a vibe. I think I like this one. Oh, it's sick. Oh, it looks cool with the blue. Comment down below, Miami Dolphins, and your phone case size, and maybe I'll send you a case. And make sure you're subscribed. And follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and the Making Moves account. And then I'll send you guys some cases. Why the fork not? I got Takaya. I got a salmon taco with lettuce. And then I got this bowl. It's like chicken, pineapple, beans, chips, and... Guac, plantain chips. Loki, I've been like into queso lately. What did you say for Barbie? Pretty excited. I watched, uh, oh, what's the movie with him and Emma Stone and Steve Carell? Crazy Stupid Love the other mm. day. He's good in that. You love that movie. Mm. I love the rom-com. Oh, watched uh, Forgetting oh. Sarah Marshall for the first time. That movie's hilarious. And Mila Kunis, my gosh. Did it, um. She is gorgeous. Adam is, I think so. Mm -hmm. I need to watch it. I'm gonna get candy at the thing. Some milk does sound good. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Are you excited? Barbie day. I like the pink sweatshirt. I'm obviously wearing a Barbie sweatshirt. Can you get the back of me? Can you not? Wow. Ken and Barbie. <laughs> Barbie. I'm a doll, but I still want to party. I was waiting for that song the whole time. You were? Yeah. I thought it was going to be like a hot Margot Robbie scene. What did you think? I thought it was pretty good. It was. Good. What do you mean every scene was a hot Margot Robbie? I know, but like, like yeah, okay. bikini, you know. <laughs>
It was great. Margo and uh, Margo was incredible. She's stunned. Like Funny. The They're making fun of guys. And they make fun of girls too. It was, it was good. Kind of, it got deep at the end. Did you like it? Expect. Yeah. Did you get teary eyed at all? Uh, Loki, like the beginning when it was like the girl like started becoming like the teenager and she like didn't want her mom. Oh, I know. Like, sad. Going up. Good, Walking home. And uh, when the uh, um, when she was on the bench and she talked to the old lady. Oh, I know. And she was like, "You're beautiful," and she was like, "I, I know." I know. <laughs> that was so cute. Hey, y'all, I'm getting ready for bed. Just got back from Barbie. Honestly, it was so fucking good. First of all, love the vibe of the movie theater. Like, I haven't seen the movie theater that pop in and it feels like years, so that was exciting. I also thought it was way, like, funnier and, like, clever than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, I feel like so many people were like, I cried so much. I definitely got teary-eyed, like, at, like, two or three spots, which is, like, crazy because I am not a crier. My brother and I obviously both wore the pink sweatshirts. Like, it was so fun, like, being there with like the experience of everyone being hype about it and like wearing the pink and like i don't know and that was really cute you should definitely go see it if you haven't already i thought it was super clever i loved the part about century city and like roasting basically hollywood men anyone that says it's like anti-man or whatever like clearly doesn't get the movie i also thought the soundtrack was fucking amazing which like we knew that i'll give it like an eight out of ten but i'm so obsessed with this t-shirt like i'm so glad i got two t-shirts this time at alvin's island in anna maria because i love wearing these to bed and they're the comfiest t-shirts ever it's like the frat ones that are like comfort colors i'm like really into planning like fun activities sober activities for instance venice run club going to barbie like that shit makes me happy there's like a time when like all you want to do is be able to drink but now that i'm 26 i fucking love a weeknight cute little activity over getting drunk and like unable to function the next day like i'm gonna go to my workout class in the morning i'm recording a podcast summer mckee tomorrow i'm prepped for all of that that's fun just like the little things like the little sober activities after work like that's what makes life fun i think i don't want to like live my life waiting for the weekend every week because i definitely used to do that and now i'm trying to make like weekdays more fun i have like a busy week this week tomorrow i'm going to waterfront for like a party that's in venice if you haven't been to waterfront in venice it's like a fun really fun bar and then i'm going to david's birthday which will be fun it seems like for that i think is like early 2000s all american rejects apparently is performing which is fucking sick sunday i'm going to a dodger game i'm thriving right now and i'm honestly just so grateful because i feel like i was in such a rut for so long and that's just so not myself and i keep bringing it up and it sounds so repetitive but like i'm sorry i'm very happy right now it feels amazing and i'm gonna watch Daisy jones in the six right now even though i think it's the book is way better and I hate when people say that, but it really is true. By the way, anytime my ends like are super dry, put oil on them at night and it's the way to go. All right, I'm going to bed, I love you. Morning. I can't stop looking at this because it's so fucking pretty. I like that it's kind of chaotic. Anyway, I'm going at 45. I've about 15 minutes to get ready, 14 minutes to get ready. So let's do it. Look at my hair. I kind of slayed, I used the hair glue stick. And then I did two braids and wrapped it together. Honestly, I have no idea what the back looks like. Hopefully it looks cool. If you haven't been following me for a while, this is the best duo before a workout. BB and J, because you get a little protein and a little sugar. Shit, 801, I gotta go. Here we go. Three, let's try with some rhythm. youtuber queen herself okay i love this camera hi wait do you not have this camera i don't does everyone have this camera now you need it <laughs> i've do you like, do, are you a g7x girl yes through it this, no, this is what i've been wanting i have been amazoning like wide angle lens at anyway, 10 to 18 millimeters girl please send, send me the, the link. link no i did literally Get me back on youtube <laughs> morgan riddle is just here she's like send me the link to that pot or no, that camera i, I love it this was so fun tk is so good at interviewing and just like being a host no i'm obsessed on. with your podcast thank you thank you i Big don't fan. know definitely not as official as you I, I was giving woo woo as 
No, you were not. Podcast. I give way more woo woo. It was talking about energy the whole time. It's okay. I was talking to my, my bee who's a spirit guide, so <laughs> I it's love fine. That. Anyway, she's wearing this cutie little. Don't what is this? Where'd you thrift it? Yeah, O O T D. Okay, don't know where I thrifted this, but I thrifted this. Okay. These were pants. I cut them. Shut up! Yeah. Brandy. Oh my god, you are such like a deep up girly. <laughs> And then these are from Urban Outfitters, like, forever ago. Stop. You're so cute. Thank you. I'm obsessed. Love Wait, you so much. You, you want to do an OOTD? Uh, you know what? I will. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go crazy. Let's go crazy. Okay. okay. I want to be comfy today. And so you my, look so cute. Thank you. Yeah. My jean shorts are from Free People. The brand's one teaspoon. Look how long they are. They're so fun. I didn't, I know, I like, look at these. Okay. They're love. fun. Um, shirt is free people, but you can kind of see through. I'm wearing a skims thing underneath. She's a free people girl. I know, I kind of am right now. Wow. I, I feel like it. they're back. No, they are. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is Zara. Cutie. Um, little cropped trench moment. And that then really my shoes are brings it Converse. Together. So cute. Yep. Love. <laughs> hey guys, how cute is this event? It's like at a house in Venice. I'm obsessed. Guys, look at you with. <laughs> Ollie's on the clock. What are you up to? I'm Tell us what we're doing. Paid. We have tarot. We have sound ops. We have TK's juicy fucking holes. That's right, baby. <laughs> and homegirls here. No, my spirit ride. <laughs> Just a quick check-in today. First of all, look how fucking cute my outfit is. It's from Set Active. It's this little like workout top that looks like a 90s like bandana top almost i love it i am about to go to the sauna i almost canceled because honestly like i just didn't want to go somewhere new right now fuck it like this is you signed up for this do the promises you make to yourself or one of those things i'm saying as i say sometimes another thing i've been trying to get better at is cleaning as i go so i'm gonna try and put this away really quickly before i go to the sauna it's just like a 10 or 15 minute walk i'm gonna try to get there like early so i'm not rushed also happy eras week i found out mother forking last night i'm going to the eras tour Woo! in los angeles i'm so fucking hyped and excited i knew this was going to happen i was manifesting the shit out of this honestly i have a feeling i'll go twice because i'm really manifesting going and taking my brother and surprising him with tickets and the brand that's taking me didn't allow me a plus one, which I don't, I don't give a shit. Like, I'm so happy to be going and grateful to be going. But, like, I really want to take my brother because I want him. Like, I've seen Eras and, like, obviously I'm a big Swifty, so I'm so excited to go again. I'm so grateful to be going. I'm going with Love Wellness, by the way. The brand, so fucking excited. And I'm excited to start my relationship with the brand because this is the first time I've ever done anything with Love Wellness. And I've been, like, in my health and wellness era i'm going at least once i have a feeling i'll go twice i'm manifesting it i wrote this down in my journal several times and boom we made it happen so thank you love wellness thank you to my management team i feel like i'm getting an award right now update the sauna was really good like it felt good it was a little claustrophobic i did the pod i guess it wasn't the most relaxing thing in the world for me but i'm glad i went and i probably will go again i just don't know if i'll do the pod one again i'm so glad i cut these up because I'm trying to rehydrate right now i've like already had a whole one of these and some of this came home showered now i'm gonna go to katie austin's i can't wait to hang out with her and she's making me dinner i feel like katie austin and i are like meant to be great friends we're just both so busy, so it's like hard to hang out, but I fucking love her. Hey gang, it's uh, Phil here, your boy. Being the good brother I am, had to go get um, the beads for... Our girl. The T-Swift concert. Of course, the first place I go to only has these huge kits. I am trying out Brock Your Body, I think is her Instagram. One of hers, I think her real name's Carissa. One of her recipes, my friend Liza and Katie raved about it. Life hack. Use a cookie sheet if you don't have a pan or a lid big enough for this pan. So, it's kind of working. One pan turkey sweet potato skillet. I'm so excited about it. Phil, as you saw, went on a errand run to go get the beads and shit for the T-Swift concert. I'm so fucking excited. I've been cooking us lunch, so it's a good duo. Show us what you got, Phil. Right now we're working on the little T-Swizzle. I love it. Hopefully somebody will trade with me. Now I got Endgame, and then I'm proud eased of... <laughs> But we have other 
shit show right now i need to shave my legs i'm going with revolve revolve girls sometimes scare me so i need to get my shit together before we go to the concert i don't have a plus one either otherwise i would totally take julia she's a swifty also julia i have this which alicia got me this and i fucking love it i just have to hang it up yeah so like this should go somewhere cool yeah i just need a measuring tape i have so many ideas okay you can also make like a pinterest board and start like oh. pinning yes. fun cute things and i'll give you the yes or no what am I coming out here to do? Oh, too much. Oh my god, we also need to make bracelets. I'm like a contractor. No, you are. <laughs> do you have a piece of paper and stuff? Why are you good at this shit, though? I saw it when I was like younger. Um, that I want to be an interior designer. Did you really? Yeah. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Like, I almost went to fit them for interior design. And I switched my mind like a month before I came. Shut up! Like dead ass. Okay, so this is your dream. It's my dream. what you're saying. I, yes, <laughs> it is. So I'm excited. With this room, you guys, I just need storage. I've decided, like, I have this fun green couch. We're gonna put it against the wall or the window, which I didn't want to do, but I need the storage. I need my Hannah Montana closet. I just have to. Look at her already tape measuring. Love you guys. Bye. <laughs> 